Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees Hi folks, just adding some bee skateboards today in order to extract our honey the bee skateboards work as like a puzzle to get all the bees out of the honey supers. Thanks for joining! We're just using some bee skateboards to harvest our honey supers. So bee skateboards, if you haven't seen one before, has this puzzle on the back. So you put your full honey super on top of this. They go <coughs> through the hole and then they go out but they can't find their way back in. So that's how we clear the bees from our honey supers. Easy peasy, it takes about three days. I've seen other people use fume boards and other methods, uh, but this one I like. I think it's the least like invasive. Um, the bees don't seem to mind. Uh, I don't really like using chemicals too often. So that's what we're doing today, getting ready for the honey harvest. Okay, so here you go. Oh my god, it's heavy. So we're putting an empty super on top so the bees can just move on to the next one. Oh, this is so full. That's heavy. I wonder if this house swarm. No, they're when they're not in here during the day, that's good, because these are the foragers, right? Yes. So they're out and about, getting you some more honey. Honey. Oh, wow, this was my queenless hive. It's fair to say these girls have a queen. Wow, this hive had no queen. I think I might, when I harvest the other hives, I'll come and do this one. How long do we leave the base gates on? Two to three days. So this is baby girl's hive. She didn't get much honey last year. Do you have the outside ones that need a little work? But I'll just leave this one too. Because then I can put the extracted honey supers underneath this one and carry on. They look really great though. It's all packed full. So I'm just going to put this one back together.
doing good. It's just the same thing as your other hive where the outside frames aren't built. So here we're just switching the frames around. Bees tend to build comb and honey in the center of the frames first. So we're putting the center frames to the outside because they're filled with honey already and moving the empty frames to the middle where they start working first. turn the entrance on the top inner cover to the back and cover it up. I have noticed that any hives with no top entrance produce more honey. So I'm turning the inner covers around that have top entrances and blocking them off just to see if it does help with the production of honey. Honey down there. I'm gonna do the same thing and flip I'm the inner if, cover. If the bottom one's full. This one? Yeah. That's a soup uh, brood chamber. This is a brood? Yeah. In a super? Yeah. Oh. So, do the same thing with the inner cover. My experiment. Are there bees in this hive? Yeah. You want this one open too? Heck yeah. I wouldn't wait. If they're super full, they're inclined to swarm. Yeah, but then I'm going to be pushing them down into just a, one hive. You know what I'm saying? I literally have no supers or frames left. Oh, you don't have any supers left? No. Oh, you should have more supers, right? Suck. It's full. Yeah, you should at least pull one frame. To lick it? Just take it home and do whatever you want with it. But what I'm going to do is in a couple days, so I have that one with two, extract those and then put them under any other ones that are ready. But it's full. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to buy. The dilemma here is that my honey super is full and I don't have any empty honey supers left. Um, and the 
be a skateboard doesn't fit well over a queen excluder. Um, and I didn't want the bees to all go into that brood chamber because it would just be packed with bees. So I'm going to have to come back to this one.